Hey loves, it's getting to be that time of the year where everybody wants to be toasty by the real or faux fireplace and today I'm going to be comparing and reviewing two electric fireplaces to help you decide which one is best for you. And I'm going to go over the features and benefits of both and the costs and then you can decide which one you think is a better fit for you. This is the one that I ultimately ended up choosing and this is the Acti 23 inch electric fireplace. It's available on Amazon for roughly $79, and I'll explain why I chose this for our family. And then the other unit that I will be reviewing is this one, and that is the Duraflame Electric Fireplace. And this is the unit that I ended up sending back, and I will explain why, and it might be good for your family, but it didn't work for ours. It's available on Amazon for roughly $179. Okay, if you're anything like me, when you're shopping for anything online, you want to be able to feel like you can see it and touch it. And so this is as close as I can get. I like to do a lot of really close-up product shots from a bunch of different angles to give you a good idea of what the unit actually looks like in person. So this is, again, the Acti unit, and the thing that you just saw me touch is a faux handle, so it doesn't move. And one of the things that we really enjoy is that the heat on this unit comes from the bottom and you'll see that down there, that's where the heating element is, that little grill. And then this is how beautiful it looks from far back, and this is a double door style, so both of those doors do open, and you have that nice sort of, I don't know what you would call that, but I like the way that the top looks. And the front is plastic, but it, it's very, very heavy. The sides and the back are metal, and you have these little doors that open up, and there's a magnetic closure. I'm just showing you kind of what that looks like. You can see all my filming gear in the background. And when you get really close, these logs are really, really orange, which we, our family really loves. And you can see that the back on this one is, you know, it's kind of that amber color. It has that black brick looking sidewalls. Um, it's very, very nice looking unit. I'm just showing you a close up here. Okay, so those are the magnetic closures where the door will shut. And again, that little handle is just a faux fireplace. So gonna get into the actual features here in a second. All right, now this unit does not, let me go back to this for one second. Right here, when you shut the door, you do have to make sure that the left door shuts first and then the right because the lip which keeps them together. So that's what you see me showing you there. And then up top here, that is where the actual temperature controls are and I will go into that in just a second. But let's just have a look at the unit one more time. Again, very heavy, very sturdy. The heat on this one does come from the bottom. That is important to a lot of people, and a lot of people don't like that. So I'm just showing you, and this is what the side looks like. It's built in, because the other one looks different. All right, now let's talk about this top unit for a second. Okay, so again, on this Acti unit, the actual heating controls are at the top. So you have to open this little panel. And sorry for the video being so shaky here. I wasn't using the stabilizing lens there. So you have those six controls. So one is, so that's turning up the temperature, that one's turning up and down the flame, and then you have those four controls which run the unit so that you can make it hotter or just run the flame without the heat or vice versa. So this is just from across the room, um, what it looks like, and then you just, you know, once you have the controls set the way you want them, you just walk up and you just pop on the unit. This one does not come with a remote, but even from all the way across the room, you can just see how warm and kind of toasty that looks, and that's just giving you a general size reference. Okay, now this is the Duraflame one. And you can see that this unit, the heat actually comes from the top of the unit. So if that's important to you, there you go. So on this unit, the front has the beveled glass doors, and this unit definitely looks more expensive in my opinion. Again, a magnetic closure here with a single door. You know, the logs and even the, the internal depth of this one. I mean, this one certainly looks more like a fireplace, I guess. But for me, the flames were very, very yellow. And during the day, and even at night, to be honest, even on a full setting, that's me showing you the sides, which are also glass, which is nice, you can look through. Um, this is what I was talking about right here. You can adjust the flames from, you know, one, two, three, four, five. But you see it's not really making a ton of difference. I just felt like the flame wasn't bright enough. This is me manually adjusting the controls for the temperature. You could take it all the way up to 82. Now, and then that's the timer, 30 minutes, one hour. All right, so some of the things I love about this unit is that it does have a timer. I did love that. Um, 
but I'm not going to leave it running overnight anyway because I think that's a fire hazard. So for me, that wasn't really make or break. I did love the remote on this one, but the problem with the remote is that you can only turn it on and off. You can't adjust the heating controls. So I'm not sure that I really understand the user experience on that because if I can only turn it on and off and not up and down, then so what? So that's what the remote looks like. It's tiny. It really is a beautiful unit. They are almost the exact same size. This one certainly looks more high end, um, but I didn't love it. Now, one of the things that I am going to be using is this, the safer socket, because we did almost have a very bad electrical fire in our house a year ago um, when I'm not really sure what happened, but our other electric fireplace decided to go to heaven and, you know, tried to take it, tried to take us with it. So thank God I was sitting there and I pulled the socket from the wall. Um, you know, now being smarter and having gone through that, I'm going to use this recommended by the local firemen that we know. And so I'm just, you can see me in a box ninja fight here. I win. Okay, good for me. Um, actually the package was really easy to open. And then what you're going to see here is this is super simple. You literally walk up and plug this thing into the wall and then you plug the fireplace into or whatever. You can use it for anything, but I'm using it for a fireplace. You plug it in and then it has a green light. Now, if that unit senses any kind of anything overheating, then it's basically going to flip to red and it's going to shut the power to that unit off or it's going to kill the electricity to that. So this makes me feel good about while we were testing out the Duraflame unit every night, I would go over and unplug it from the wall because it was just terrifying me. So I feel much better about using this unit and I highly recommend it. $25 peace of mind for me worth every single penny. All right, my curious little friends, if you're familiar with my reviews, you know that this is the part of the video where I actually start talking about my opinions about these products. So we're gonna start with the one that we did not choose and that is the Duraflame unit. Now you can see that this unit is absolutely beautiful with the beveled glass and it has the heavier door. Um, this unit is actually much lighter, like to pick up than the Acti unit, but it's just beautiful. I mean, you really can't knock the way that it looks. Again, the heating element coming out of the top on this one and all of the controls are you know, they're touch, they're not touch screen, but you know, you touch them to adjust them. And that includes timer, temperature, adjusting the lighting, etc. Now you can run this one with or without the lights on, with or without the heat on, the same as all pretty much every single electric fireplace. It is a single door unit. Uh, the depth of the fire logs is very deep, which makes this look very realistic. Again, the flames on this one, a very pale yellow. If you're into that, then great. Um, the, again, it does have the remote. My concern with the remote was and continues to be that unless I'm able to adjust the heating, so, you know, take the temperature up and down from the remote unit, it wasn't really beneficial to me that I could just click the unit on and off with that. So for me, that made the remote a non-starter. Um, so you can put anything you want under the unit and near the sides because it doesn't get hot anywhere except for the top. You can see absolutely gorgeous standing on its own hard to knock the way that this thing looks. The problem with this unit for our family, okay? We like to sit right in front of it, either at night or in the morning when the kids are getting ready just to kind of get all toasty before they go off to school. It's, it's a smart unit in that it's constantly measuring the temperature of the room. So it will cycle on and off constantly to try to maintain that temperature. For our family's purposes, that did not work. So that means that it would run for 30 seconds, then shut off for two minutes, then run for 30 seconds, then shut off for two minutes. That didn't really work for us. More importantly, I did not feel as if this unit put out very much heat. Now it's great that it's pretty to look at, but I purchased it to warm up the room. And for me and my family and my guests who all gave their opinions about this unit, it literally, we would sit on the couch and you couldn't even feel it. And it's sitting directly to the side of the couch. So ultimately that is why this unit went back. I just, it wasn't hot enough for us. Now, if you're really just using it for ambiance purposes, it's gorgeous and I would say choose this unit. These are the measurements. Um, all of that is available on the Amazon page and of course all of the information is included in links in the down bar below. Um, what else to say about this unit? I mean, I like that it has a timer and that it has a remote. If those things are important to you, then it does have that. For our family, it wasn't really make or break.
All right, the very last thing that I want to say about this unit, because I'm not knocking this product. I think it's right for a specific application. It just wasn't ours. If you have it in a room where you're going to let it run for long periods of time and it's just going to cycle on and off, I think it was actually very good at maintaining a consistent room temperature. However, if you are wanting to snuggle up next to it or feel more actual heat coming directly off this unit, then you're going to want to go for the Acti unit. So let's get into that one. Okay, let's look at this Acti unit, which is the one that my family and I ultimately ended up choosing. This one is also very, very beautiful in a different way. I would say that the other one looks more modern, and this is sort of more of an old school, old world feel of that kind of cast iron looking, um, very, very hot burning fireplace. Again, this unit with the heat coming from the bottom and not from the top. These are the general measurements. They are almost exactly the same size. Again, the Duraflame unit is much lighter actually to pick up, not that that matters to anybody. Um, this unit, the Acti one, was so substantial. I was very shocked when I took it out of the box at how heavy it is. But let's actually start talking about some of the other features. One of the things I really enjoy about this is that the heating control elements are separate from the on-off switch. Why? Because I have children and I don't want them messing with the heating controls. That just kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. So. The fact that you can adjust all of the controls from the top and set it the way that you want it. And then, you know, they can go over and hit the on off button anytime they like and, and that's fine. Again, this one having the two doors. The only thing that I would say about the actual aesthetics of this is that it it is, when you open it, the logs and the facing are just set in maybe about six inches. So that depth when you open the doors is only about six inches. Now when you have the doors shut, you really can't tell. I don't know why that would matter to anybody. It doesn't matter to me, um, but if that matters to you, if you like to be able to kind of look further into the fireplace, I wanted to mention that for you. I prefer the double door system. I just think it looks nicer. That's just a really nice close up of what the back looks like. What I love about this particular unit, again, aesthetics, I love that hot orange looking flame because that's what I'm used to seeing. When I have an actual fire running, that's what it looks like. It's bright, it's orange, it's yellow, it, it looks hot. That makes it feel warmer to me. And I know that that's all just the psychology of an electric fireplace, but that's how I feel about it. Um, this is the back of the unit, not that anyone cares about that. And one of the things that I really love about this unit is just how hot it gets. And then it, it doesn't cycle on and off. When you turn it on, it runs continuously until you shut it off. I like that for our family's needs. It works. The reason I like to do comparison videos is because it helps you to understand which product is right for you. So it's never my attempt to disparage a company or to slam a product. It's to say, hey, this one's good for this application and this one's great for this application so that you can choose. As always, my links are down in the description box below. It is an Amazon affiliate link. I do like to disclose that to people. So you pay the same price, but I do get a very tiny percentage of a commission, which helps me to continue to purchase and make these kinds of comparison videos for you guys. If there are any products that you would like me to review, please let me know, or any suggestions about things that you'd like me to include in future reviews. I also wanted to talk very, very quickly about the safety plug. So let's get into that for just a second. All right, what's to say about the safer socket? Would I recommend it? Yes. Would I give it as a gift? I'm already thinking about it. You know, it's about an inch in depth. It It's the right color. It looks about the same as all other sockets. So it's not like it sticks out in some obscene way. It's peace of mind. If you've ever experienced or known anyone who's had a house fire, then you know that spending $25 for major appliances, which are pulling down major kinds of energy and heat specifically, this for me is worth every single penny. It literally could not have been easier. I mean, I sat there and tried to cut the box open, but I didn't realize that it had a breakaway casing, you know, the product packaging, which is excellent because anybody could open it. And then you just plug it into the wall, you plug the device in. If it blows, you pull it out of the wall for 30 seconds to a minute, you plug it back in. I mean, easy peasy, absolutely recommend this. Wish I had had one before. I didn't know that it existed, which is why it was very important for me to include it in this video. If you're using any kind of an electric fireplace, please use this kind of a device with your unit just for the safety of your family and so that you can enjoy being warm and snuggly and safe 
whenever you use this unit. That's it guys, we're done. This is just a side-by-side -side comparison. You can really see what I'm talking about, about the yellow versus orange type of flames. I hope that this was a very, very helpful comparison video so that you can choose the unit. Guys, go ahead and get them because they get more expensive as time goes on. It's already late August, so order yours today. As always, thank you for spending some time with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.